seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's Ferb Jr. here. I am about to play Minecraft and listen to my scriptures. So let's go figure out where I'm at in the scriptures. I'm at Joshua chapter 10 in the Old Testament. So I'll go to my scripture app, press play. Chapter 10. Israel defeats the Amorites and their allies, and the Lord casts stones from heaven upon them. The sun and moon stand still. Many kings and cities are destroyed. The Lord fought for Israel. Now it came to pass, when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai, and had utterly destroyed it. As he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king. And how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Jephiah, king of Lachish, and unto Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon, and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants, come up to us quickly, and save us, and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horon, and smote them to Azekah, and unto Makeda. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord, in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou, moon, in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled, and hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hid in a cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it for to keep them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the hindmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass, when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities. And all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, 
and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward Joshua smote them, and slew them, and hanged them on five trees. And they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass, at the time of the going down of the sun, that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees, and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid, and laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until this very day. And that day Joshua took Makeda, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof he utterly destroyed, them and all the souls that were therein, he let none remain. And he did to the king of Makeda, as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Joshua passed from Makeda, and all Israel with him, unto Libna, and fought against Libna. And the Lord delivered it also, and the king thereof, into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof, as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna, and all Israel with him, unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of Gezer, came up to help Lachish, and Joshua smote him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him, and they encamped against it, and fought against it. And they took it on that day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Joshua went up from Eglon, and all Israel with him unto Hebron, and they fought against it. And they took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him to Deber, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Deber, and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Libna, and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gibeah. And all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, under the camp to Gilgal. Chapter 11 Joshua and Israel conquer the whole land, destroying many cities and nations. And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Maidan, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshaph, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Kinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpeh. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt hawk their horses, 
and to burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Merom suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto misrephoth and unto the valley of Mizpeh eastward. And they smote them, until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He hawked their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe. And he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Deber, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod they remained. So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Chapter 12 Two kings on the east of the Jordan, and thirty-one on the west, are conquered by Israel. Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote and possessed their land on the other side of Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Aror, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Kinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshemoth, and from the south under Ashdoth Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Edrei, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salka, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and the Maacathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel smite. And Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan on the west, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. 
The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Deber, one. The king of Geter, one. The king of Horma, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hefer, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasharon, one. The king of Madon, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron Miron, one. The king of Akshaf, one. The king of Tayanak, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kedish, one. The king of Jachnium of Carmel, one. The king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one. The king of the nations of Gilgal, one. The king of Tirzah, one. All the kings, thirty and one. Chapter 13 There remain some lands yet to be possessed. Some inhabitants are not expelled. The inheritances of Reuben, Gad, and one half of Manasseh are confirmed. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines and all Geshurai, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite. Five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, the Ashtathites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miera that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites. And the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising, from Baal Gad under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon, unto Misrephoth Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. From a rower that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon. And all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Meacathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salca. All the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Edrei, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites nor the Maacathites, but the Geshurites and the Maacathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from a rower that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba, Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamoth Baal, and Beth Baal Meon, and Jehaza, and Kedemoth, and Mephaeath, and Kerjathaim, and Sibma, and Zareth Shehar in the mount of the valley, and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Recham, and Zer, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. 
This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities, and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto a rower that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramoth Mizpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Deber, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Kinnereth, on the other side Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan threescore cities, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Chapter 14. The land is divided by lot among nine and a half tribes. Caleb inherits Hebron as a special reward for his faithfulness. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Chapter 15 Judah is given an inheritance in Canaan. The Jebusites dwell with Judah at Jerusalem. 
This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom. The wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Hale a crabum, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karkea. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to beth and passed along by the north of beth And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Deber from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal. That is before the going up to Adama, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Baala, which is kirjath Jearim. And the border compassed from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along at the side of Mount Jearim, which is Kesselon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out under the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baala, and went out unto Jabneel. And the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about, according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahiman and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Deber. And the name of Deber before was kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth kirjath Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it. And he gave him Axah his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom southward, were Kabzeel, and Eder, and Jager, and Kina, and Amona, and Adida, and Kedish, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Bealoth, and Hazor, Hadatta, and Kurioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor. Amom, and Shema, and Molada, and Hazer Gada, and Heshmon, and Beth Palet, and Hazer Shul, and Beersheba, and Bezjothja, Baala, and Iam, and Azim, and Eltolad, and Kesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Labaoth, and Shilam, and Ain, and Rimen. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtael, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoah, and in Ganim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Ezekah, and Shiraim, and Adathaim, and Gadira, and Gadirathaim. Fourteen cities with their villages. Zenan, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Thilion, and Mizpah, and Jokthil. 
Lakish, and Boscath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Laman, and Kithlish, and Gadiroth, Beth Dagon, and Naama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nizab, and Kiila, and Axib, and Marisha, nine cities with their villages. Ekron with her towns and her villages. From Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shemer, and Jatter, and Soko, and Dana, and Kirjath Sana, which is Deber, and Anab, and Eshtemo, and Anam, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Janum, and Beth Tapua, and Afika, and Hamta, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Jutta, and Jezreel, and Jokdium, and Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten cities with their villages, Halhol, Bethzer, and Gedor, and Meirath, and Beth Anoth, and Eltakon, six cities with their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jearim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midden, and Sekeka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and in Gedai, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16 The children of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh receive their inheritances. Some Canaanites continue to dwell among the Ephraimites. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Archai to Ataroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhletai, unto the coast of Beth Horon the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Adarah Adar, unto Beth Horon the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michmethah on the north side. And the border went about eastward unto Teanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east to Genoha. And it went down from Genoha to Ataroth, and to Naarath, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Chapter 17. Manasseh and Ephraim both receive an additional inheritance. Ephraim is to drive out the Canaanites from the hill country. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for make here the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abiezer, and for the children of Helik, and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemaiah. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. 
And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmetha, that lieth before Shechem. And the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Antapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar Asher Beth Shean, her town, and Ibliam and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Sinek and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only. But the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. For thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 the tabernacle of the congregation is set up at Shiloh. Benjamin receives an inheritance by lot. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, how long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coasts on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. And the men arose and went away. And Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land, and described it by cities into seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel, according to their divisions. 
and the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of beth And the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel southward. And the border descended to ataroth Adder near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether beth And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward, from the hill that lieth before beth southward, and the goings out thereof were at kirjath Baal which is Kirjath-Jerim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of Kirjath-Jerim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebusai on the south, and descended to Enrogel. And was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemish, and went forth toward Galiloth, which is over against the going up of Adunam, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of Beth Hagla northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin by the coasts thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, and beth and the valley of Kizis, and beth Ereba, and Semiraim, and Bethel, and Avim, and Pera, and Ophra, and kepher Haamani, and Ophni, and Geba, Twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Beeroth, and Mizpah, and Kephira, and Moza, and Rechem, and Irpil, and Terala, and Zela, Elath, and Jebusai, which is Jerusalem, Gibeoth, and Kirjath. Fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Chapter 19 Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan received their inheritances by lot. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beresheba, or Sheba, and Molida, and Hazer Shul, and Bela, and Azim and Eltolad, and Bethel, and Hormah, and Ziklag, and beth Markaboth, and hazer Susa, and beth Labaoth, and Shuruhan, thirteen cities and their villages, Ain, Remen, and Ether, and Ashan, four cities and their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to baaleth Beer, Ramoth of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, for the part of the children of Judah. Okay, so my wife is asleep next to me. So I'm going to be super quiet. And so we just finished chapter 18 of the book of Joshua. We started in chapter 10. And now I'm going to Acknowledge the viewers. We had another T TV viewer, Big Bing Cortana, Casino Thanks, FTO Pair, G 
go with him, have this too, Ice Wizards, Industrial Parasite. Let's do this underscore music, Nuclear Pigeons and Violets TV. I'm so grateful that you were able to join us. And I'm going to end the broadcast with a with my morning prayer. Dear God in heaven, we're great, I'm grateful to be here today. I'm grateful to have the technology uh, which thou hast put into my hand that I could um, that I could be productive and keep track of the things that I need to keep track of. I ask that thou will bless me that I will be able to do thy will and that I can bring glory to your name. I ask that thou will bless me that I will be able to help take care of my children and that I can be strong and healthy. And I ask the same blessings upon all those who are hearing my voice at this time. And this I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, that's all, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great day. Oh, I didn't check the chat. Did anyone say anything in the chat? I will say hi so that I can see it. Okay, bye, everybody.